when I first got my doctorate and was called Dr. Polyakov, the only reason that I found the doctorate useful was to complain in shops. If you telephoned and said, look, you, this is not right, if you said it was Dr. Polyakov, it produced an effect. Now, I have no idea whether Sir will produce an effect, similar effect or whether people will just laugh. Each year, the UK government releases something called the New Year's Honours List. This is a whole bunch of people receiving things like MBEs and CBEs and OBEs, but of particular interest are the people who are receiving knighthoods and damehoods. Now these can be all sorts of people, they can be sports stars or celebrities, or very often they might be people you've never heard of who have accomplished things or done many years of service behind the scenes. But this year, one of the people being recognised with a knighthood is our very own professor, Martin Polyakov. Now, of course, first and foremost, he's been recognised for his work over many years as a chemist at the University of Nottingham. He's also been recognised for his work as an ambassador for science in recent years as Foreign Secretary of the Royal Society. But of particular interest to me, and perhaps you who watches these videos, is another thing, and it's written on this citation here, that Martin has been recognised for his work in engaging the public with chemistry, including through the periodic table of videos on YouTube. Here it is in black and white. So anyway, I had a quick chat with, well I guess I should call him Sir Martin, just a few days ago and asked him how he felt about the whole thing. I already have a lower honour, so-called Commander of the Order of the British Empire, which has a nice cross, which I have worn, I think, in total three or four times. And once when I had to go down the street wearing this, I buttoned up my anorak right to the top so that nobody should see this when I was going down the street. The knighthood, as far as I remember, and I've seen quite a lot of people wearing this, is a sort of oval reddish coloured medallion. In our university it is quite rare. Sir Peter Mansfield, the Nobel Prize winner, discoverer or inventor of MRI, our former Vice-Chancellor Colin Campbell was knighted and our present Vice-Chancellor Sir David Greenaway was knighted actually only a few months ago. Of course he's got it for, I've been awarded it because this is somebody who's a top scientist in a top school, somebody who's been a fabulous communicator, who's done so much through a periodic table of videos to raise interest in, in the science. But he's also part of a university community that he's grown up in. He's been here for 35 years. And part of a university community is very proud of what he's done. So this is a huge honour for the university as well as for Martin personally. And the actual ceremony, which I've never seen but I've heard about, is that you are touched on the shoulder by the Queen or a member of the royal family with a sword, just like you see in pictures in medieval battlefields and so on. Though I think the sword they use is rather lighter and less sharp. Yes, indeed, there was a sword. It's not a myth. I was tapped on both shoulders. The only thing that was missing was Arise, Sir David. That, that bit doesn't actually happen. Arise, Sir Percival. A sirloin of beef. Arise, Sir Marlborough. Beforehand, they, they take you in for a briefing, and there's a stool there, and they take you through kneeling down and so on. And to be honest, I thought, well, what's the point of that? But I did it. And an official came up to me and said, uh, Sir David, when, when you went down, you instinctively put your head down. Do not do that. Keep your head up, otherwise you don't see what's happening, and you'll miss the moment. And it was wonderful advice. I kept my head up. There was lovely eye contact there. You can see the sword coming down. It you know, taps both shoulders. And um, then Her Majesty had a, a few words, asked about my career as an economist, asked about work here at the university. People in the UK are still really quite formal. So if you're a professor, you're called professor with your surname. So I'm called Professor Polyakov. I prefer people to use my first name and call me Martin. So the tradition is that when somebody gets a knighthood, they are called Sir and their Christian names, so in my case, Sir Martin. Though in full, I would be Professor Sir Martin Polyakov, but nobody in their right mind would actually say that. They might write it in a formal document. It is, I think, for a combination of reasons. I think it is partly through my role at the Royal Society as an ambassador for UK science, but also it is 
it, for my role in chemistry, partly my research in green and sustainable chemistry, but also for my um, efforts, thanks to you, the YouTube watchers, to promote chemistry through YouTube. I think it may be the first time that YouTube has been mentioned when somebody's got a knighthood. And so I feel really quite proud about that. And I also really want to thank you, YouTube viewers, who have made this possible through your enthusiasm for chemistry. So in a way, this is an honour that we can all share together. I see this very much as an honour for the whole of the School of Chemistry at the University of Nottingham where I work. So I see this as a reward not only for myself but for my colleagues working this area and particularly for my research team and my close colleagues who work with me in this team and also for our technical staff who make all the equipment that allows us to do the experiments. I think my wife is fairly neutral about it, though it should be pointed out that there is rather unfortunate sex discrimination, that when a male is knighted, his wife gets the courtesy title of lady, but if a woman is made a dame, her husband doesn't get anything. I'm not sure what my wife's attitude to being called Lady will be, and it, that's up to her whether she uses the title or not. Fantastic public recognition. And, um, you know, there aren't, there aren't many of them. Uh, and, and, and I think the university having the opportunity to celebrate an accolade like this for someone who's as loyal and as committed and as straightforward as Martin is just a wonderful thing. I think perhaps what I need to remember is that when I was made a professor in 1990, 24 years ago, my son sent me a birthday card. It was announced fortuitously on my birthday and it said at the end, P.S. don't be pompous like other profs. And I think this is really a very good attitude to have to all these honours. I'm delighted to have it but I mustn't let it get the better of me.